Hey guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So, thought it was time for another soft spoken, let's get to know each other video. Someone asked me a question in one of my previous videos, and I thought, yeah, that's interesting enough to answer and it's uh <laughs> probably going to have one of the most hipster answers you've heard all week <laughs> so they asked you know how did i first get into asmr and i start listening to it and here's the ridiculously hipster response. I've been listening to it since before it was cool. <laughs> but no, seriously, I know it became really big when it first launched onto YouTube. However, years and years before that was a thing, I had started reading the first articles that were coming out about it. So out of curiosity, reading, it's like oh, listening to these sounds in some people can elicit a, a physical response to the sounds of like tapping and crinkling. I went and found some of the earlier sound files of ASMR and discovered that I was one of those people <laughs> that had a response. This is back before all the common terminology was a thing, like nobody called them tingles, nobody really knew what ASMR even was. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's where I first discovered it. It's an early, early articles that were being put out that it was a thing. So I went, I hunted it down, downloaded some of the, the files and that's where I first started. Now, I listened to those for a while and then, like most things, I stopped. And then years later, it cropped up again. I think I read another article at some point, like on Facebook, and was like, oh yeah, that's a thing. I, I used to love listening to that. So, I hopped onto YouTube, which is what this article was talking about. Pretty garbage, really. It was just like, oh, there are so many people on YouTube with hundreds of thousands of followers, and all they're doing is making noises at a mic. Oh, oh my. And I was like, well disparaging as that is, I know what ASMR is, so I'll go look it up. And that was where I found my first ASMR artist that I began following, who was, as many people who have been listening to ASMR online for a long time, a mainstay of the platform. Heather Feather. I listened to so many of her videos. I absolutely loved them. It's where I first discovered whispering, you know. When ASMR first was a thing, you never heard people talking. It was just sounds. 
The things like ear to ear crackling and tapping and crinkling and things like that. That was its entirety. So, when I first started hearing people talk, at first I was just like, oh no, it's like, this isn't ASMR. Being an ASMR connoisseur as I was. <laughs> but, it, it sort of opened up the entire genre. I was like, oh. I do actually like listening to people talking, as well as other sounds. You know, this just makes it even better. So, that was where I began, and as I watched and liked more of her videos, it obviously began introducing other people who were doing it. Obviously I follow tons of people now. Like, you can hear my dog in the background. He's probably annoyed, I won't let him in the room with me. Uh, I, I follow tons of people now. Like, uh, Easy ASMR, uh, Frivolous Fox, I've watched so many of her videos. <laughs> I, I love listening to her. Ah. Uh, is it Ting Ting? She's another ASM artist that I follow. Um. Absolutely love her. Like, sleep in 20 minute videos, just listening to her speak and. You know, pull up various items that she'll then explore the sounds they make. Uh, ASMR Zeitgeist, another very large channel. So yeah, that's my incredibly hipster story of how I got into ASMR. <laughs> I was listening to it before it was cool. <laughs> As to uh, how did I start doing it? I mean, that's a very short story because obviously I've only been doing it for like four months. But it may be four months of doing it. But it was years of wanting to. And, you know. Seeing how my channel's grown reasonably quickly, not astronomically amazing, but far quicker than I was expecting, really makes me wish that I had done it sooner. I've, uh, as I just said, I've followed it for years and I always wanted to try. But I always just kept thinking, who would want to watch me do it? You know, it sounds like I'm looking for a pity party or something. <laughs> so many of the people that do it are generally, you know, bystanders very attractive <laughs> which is not something I think of myself as <laughs> and that's not a oh my god fishing for compliments it's just a it's just a me thing so kind of I put it off and put it off and put it off then when I left my job and I was freelancing for a while, I just thought, I've always wanted to do this. I have 
all the time in the world now. So, why not? And here I am. Now, doing something that I love. Slowly building a subscriber base who are <laughs> some of the most wonderful people I've encountered online. The R ASMR community is probably one of the best communities out there. And I just want you all to know, you know thank you to my beautiful watchers. You are all the best. So, while we're here, what else can we talk about? There, there is one other thing that has come up surprisingly often more than I was expecting with maybe like 300 and something subscribers, 340 something. I don't know, I don't follow it too closely. You know, those numbers aren't why I do this. But a few people have reached out occasionally through email and through like DMs on Instagram asking it's like how how can I support you? I love your videos and you know I don't want you to stop. And the answer is essentially what every YouTuber puts in their videos. Subscribe, like, and comment. <laughs> the YouTube algorithm, if people don't subscribe, like, and comment, doesn't think the video is worth disseminating to more people. Whereas, the more likes and comments it has, the sorry, I'm giving myself shivers doing this. The more likes, subscribes, and comments that it that a video has the more likely it is to show to more people which are uh, for a channel my size is all I need in terms of support so for those who are liking and commenting thank you it helps my channel more than most people realize Otherwise, the algorithm just thinks, it's like, oh, well, this is content, a few people have watched it, but, you know, it's not worth passing on. The other one that maybe a lot of people don't realise is... Watching videos. <laughs> Shocker, I know. <laughs> However, if you click on a video, but then don't watch it very long, that's a detractor to the algorithm. It thinks 
Ah, oh, this content's bad. People are clicking off it really quickly. I won't send this through to more people. Because YouTube is all about eyes on the screen. It wants you to stick around on its platform for as long as possible. For obvious reasons. It wants you to watch ads. <laughs> That's how it makes money. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of support. Just subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Like them if you like them. And comment. Honestly, comments are what I prefer something that I can sit down and read. You know, people sometimes timestamp sections and they're just like, oh I loved when you did this. And that helps because it means I can do it again. Unless it was an accident that I can't replicate. <laughs> that has happened. Oh just words of encouragement. It makes me want even more than I already do to uh, sit down and make these videos and dedicate the time to editing them. I mean, I have no intentions of stopping making them. I enjoy doing this too much. I love ASMR, I love listening to it, and I love making it. So yeah, I've answered a few questions that people have asked, and I know Soft Spoken is a popular portion of ASMR. I do hope you've enjoyed this. Based on the size of my channel, I do kind of have to focus on things that do well right now. So, even though I do have kind of big plans for future content, stuff that I would put far more effort into. I do kind of have to, for the time being, stick to some of the simpler videos that essentially I know will sell, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Mm. Sorry, fleas. Eh. That was a joke. It, uh... Yeah, you know, I... I have bigger things I want to do. Far more elaborate videos, but right now, it's sort of, I guess not worth the time investment I could spend, you know, 40 hours making a super elaborate video that, you know, has costume changes and green screening so I can design my own backdrops and I do have my green screen now. It's amazing. And, you know, incorporating my artwork, which is something I'm looking to do. And it involves so much more editing. 
They're actually designing said artwork for its purposes. But it sort of boils down to... I could pour all that effort into it. And then no one will watch it. And I haven't really learnt... Yet. What people will and won't watch. Like my last two videos. I mean, they were... Similar to things I'd made in the past. But I honestly don't understand why so few people watch them. Like they're both sitting at uh, 140 and like 180 or something, something along those lines. And I don't get why. <laughs> I really don't. I even went back and like edited the title. I thought, oh, okay. Maybe something about that is making it not reach people. No, I mean, it, it got more views after I changed the title, but... Yeah. I have to admit, I don't think I'll ever understand how it really works. I figure I'll just keep at this and eventually I'll have a following of people who just love my content. Yes, my, my plan is to just keep going until it works. We'll call it there, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have anything you want to know, just drop it down in the comments. I love reading them. I'm an open book. I'll answer any questions. I mean, as long as the answers aren't something that will get me kicked off YouTube. Yeah, anything you want to know, anything, just write in the comments, and down the line I'll make another let's get to know each other video, and I'll answer some of them. So, thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. So hopefully people actually watch this. <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>